Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, uh, wherever you are. Welcome to Dumb SEO Questions, episode 394. Uh, each week uh, we meet here to answer the questions asked on the uh, SEO Questions, uh, the Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. Um, with us tonight we have Masataki Wasa. Uh, Masataki is webmaster of whatsaweb.net. He's based in Wimbledon in the UK. Um, he's also a Google Top contributor in the AdSense uh, community. Um, Micah Fisher Kirshner is uh, just joining us. Micah uh, is uh, webmaster of a, a, a Silicon Valley uh, um, meetup group for SEOs. Um, he resides on the west coast uh, of the USA. He's a, a former, uh, he's currently the um, uh, SEO director um, of Turn, for Turn River Capital in the USA. And David Rosam is a leading internet marketer based in the UK and the sunny south of uh, England. Um, his uh, website is davidrosan.com and um, Tim Kappa is uh, um, CEO of um, onlineownership.com. Uh, he uh, recently won an award as the leading Middle Earth um, consultancy, SEO consultancy. All right, so let's... Um, move uh, to our questions. We've only got three questions tonight, but uh, um, let's have at them. Um, our first one uh, is titled, What is the easiest way to target another city? This is an interesting question for me because he's right in my territory. He's uh, based in Brisbane, about 100 k k's north of here. Um, and his uh, other city is Gold Coast, uh, which is where I live. Um, this, the, he said, my website targets two local cities, A, Brisbane, B, Gold Coast. Um, and he has a website, HTTPS, uh, slash, slash, uh, full, full column, slash, slash, renovationsdirect.com.au. In the two years of active Google searches, 98 percent of my inquiries come from um, website A or, or, or comes from location A. Um, all of my pages have the keywords Brisbane. Um, his question is, what's the easiest way to target um, City B or the Gold Coast? Do I replicate all pages and swap the word to Gold Coast and have them run parallel to my Brisbane page. Okay. So, look, you're actually, you know, you're actually based in Brisbane. Gold Coast is, I don't know, whatever, just, you know, it's down. It's smaller. Um, you certainly don't want to be swapping out anything in your site for Brisbane for Gold Coast especially since Brisbane is where you're located. Uh, so my recommendation is leave your site uh, Brisbane-centric. Create yourself a city page, a city service or a city service area page for Gold Coast. And, you know, provide some content on there and what you do. Pull in case studies uh, or projects that you already have them on site, but but on that uh, Gold Coast centric page, incorporate Gold Coast centric projects that you've completed. So you've got one section um, uh, of your site focused on Gold Coast, and then don't touch your main site because that's already working for Brisbane. You know, if you start changing anything out of Brisbane, you're going to lose out, you know, and, and plus Google already knows you, you're in, you're in, in Brisbane, you know, he's going to try and show you for those, for those areas. So 
you know, just no, don't swap anything out like that. And it doesn't kind of work like that. Yeah, when all you guys come over to the Gold Coast for uh, our uh, meetup, um, uh, you, you might even meet this guy. I don't have a roof, Jim. You, 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 you'll always have a place to stay here, Tim. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So let's call that a, a, a wrap for Ilya. Um, did anyone else want to add to, to Tim's answer before we move on? Okay. This is a, 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 a question number two on our run list. Uh, it's from Kristen uh, Hanson Lowry. Uh, he said, I don't rank anymore. What is happening? He said, I've been ranking number three for a keyword. Now it's dropped away completely and I don't rank for it at all. It's as if I never did. Why would that happen? I'm truly stumped. And he gives a, 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 a URL, which is always a good thing. Uh, HTTPS for colon slash slash kmlowry.com. Well, I had a quick look at it um, about five minutes ago. <clears throat> And I pointed uh, SEM rush at it, and I found that there are uh, quite a few errors being thrown up. So I suspect your your website is uh, not um, not at its best, shall we say? Uh, there are plenty of uh, there are plenty. There are a number of uh, of, of pages throwing up four two nine errors, too many requests. Uh, which is a fairly common thing in WordPress. I didn't actually check to see if it was a WordPress site. Um, <clears throat> can, can be a result of, um, of, 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 of plugins. Plugins can do that. Um, can be HTTPS um, as well, problems, if I remember correctly. <clears throat> so you've got those set of problems. You've also got uh, a number of of pages that should that look as if they should be there should be live that are coming up as 404s so i think that something is or several things are amiss with your website so i would go back and make sure that you've got all of all of it working properly before you start worrying too much about whether there have been um uh, any uh, any Google um, Google problems? Um, I don't see, I don't think it's it's down to um, de, de indexing or or whatever. Uh, I think it looks like you've got problems with your website. Thank you, David. Anybody else? Oops. I keep doing that. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, go ahead. You know, yeah, look, your, your site's indexed. I mean, unless you, I mean, yeah, you know. Um, but for me, there's just certain things that should be sorted properly. Um, I mean, just even your your, your title. Um, you know, Google has been for a long time now always puts your your brand name on your homepage in front of you know your 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 other stuff, um, your sort of tagline in your title. Yours is still at the end. And it's just little things like that. You know, you're making Google do work for you. You know, just a little thing like that. You're making Google actually swap swap your actual title around, uh, you know, in, in, in your site. Now, there's another couple of little bugbears for me with this, which is not about, you know, necessarily about ranking, but it's about your own, you know, it's about your own, you know, housekeeping. 
So, you know, we don't have structured data, or at least you've got some local business structured data, but it's full of errors everywhere. Um, you're not using um, uh, you're not using Hasmap uh, into your um, into your uh, structured data. The embedded map you have um, in the footer of your site is not for your business. It's just a freaking road, you know, waterworks road. Like, why? Have it to your have, put your business's GMB in there. You know, do you want to be found locally when somebody looks for a copywriter? Like, you know, you need to step this up a bit, yeah. Um, like, all your footer, your, you know, the only thing on your footer that actually goes anywhere is your Facebook. You, you, your, your Twitter doesn't exist. Your G+, well, you could have just switched that to a has, uh, to your hazmat. The... Um, like, come on, come on, you know, you got like there's just basic, basic, basic errors here. That instead of you coming along going, hey, like, oh, why is my site not ranking anymore? Like, you know, just just your you know, your stuff here. Um it's just basic homework. Just look after you know, look after the bits and and the and and and, and Google will take care of the rest. Um yeah, that's, that's my two cents. Thank you, Tim. I, I guess what you're saying is that, that SEO is um, more about getting um, all of your ducks in a row rather than uh, uh, any, uh, any, any form of trickery. It's just basic Windows stuff, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it, there's, there's no, there's no, dark, weird, shady stuff to SEO. It's, it's basically presenting the best possible picture to a search engine to find, understand, and, and, and you know, use, and, and present you to a user for a specific search query. <sighs> yeah, I, I think that's absolutely correct. I, one thing I, I've been emphasizing to many clients over the years is is that it's, it's, SEO is, is a process of, of getting lots and lots of little things right. Um, it's not just a case of doing one big one big bomb of a thing. It's that won't solve things. You just got to get them all as many things right as possible. Excellent. Thank you, David. All right, let's call that a wrap for Kristen and we'll wish you the very, very best with it. Um, here's a question from um, Rahul George. It's titled, how do I get people to read my blog? Brackets uh, need traffic. Um, Postscript, uh, Facebook has limit to post blogs or articles. We get blocked. I um, appreciate uh, help here. And El Bakito has said, uh, content, content, content. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Raul seems to think, where do I market my content? Right. Well, your content should be marketed on your site because that's where you're publishing it. Now, this is the thing. Without seeing what kind of content you're doing, uh, no, we don't have any. Yeah. <laughs> so without looking at your content, um, <clears throat> You know, you could just be publishing just kind of bulk standard stuff that has 5,000 freaking, um, that has 5,000 similar types of articles, stuff like that. What, what you should be looking at is opportunities within your content um, on how to reach a specific um, audience. 
you, you've quite clearly said, how do I get people to read my blog? So I'm going to take a out on a limb here. Because you haven't said, how do I sell more product? How do I get people onto my product pages? How do I? You just said, read my blog. So I'm going to guess, just on a hunch, that this is an affiliate site of some way, shape, or form, right? Um, <laughs> so the, 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 thing, the thing you need to do here is you need to understand who you're trying to sell to or you want people to perform some form of action on your site, right? What will they be searching for? If it's about a particular product or service or piece of tech or a flipping fishing rod or whatever it may be, you need to do some research about um, things where there is or less content written about certain things that you can um, publish a piece of content on it, which will, you know, because there's, uh, you know, less competition, you will ine inevitably be, uh, you know, within sort of position one to five for that piece of content and you can start growing your audience. Uh, you talk about social media. Uh, you've also said Facebook has limits to the posts or blogs you can write. So, look, this is another thing that you need to understand about social media. You can't just go willy-nilly and flap in, drop in URLs somewhere in the hope that somebody's going to come along and click through and read it, right? The, the, the thing in social media, you know, like the actual clue is in the word social right you don't have a dinner party right and the guy next to you goes hey you know I'm, I'm, I'm Tim yeah and you go hi I'm Raul read my article it's like no mate you know you need to be engaged you need to find other people out there other groups that you can get involved with you know discuss whatever the product or your experience is things like that and when you've reached a sort of certain level of trust with these people, not about I have limits on what I can drop a link anywhere. When you've reached a certain level of trust, blah, 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 you can then be going, hey, guys, I've just done an article. What do you think? Right. And because you've built up that, 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 that rapport, they can, you know, they'll click through and read it. They may even share it if it's good enough. Okay. There's, there's, there's no, you know, so, you know, stop spamming these people in that sense, or social, right? So start using it like it should be used in that sense. And the other thing is define on who you are looking for in terms of traffic. Like you just say traffic. Well, who's your demographic? Who's your user group? Who do you want uh, on there? What is the product? And how can you get that product or article in front of the reader, the consumer? Right, you identify the low, low, you know, low competition areas, and you provide that you provide that connection between the two people, between the two things. You need to provide, you know, nothing is just literally bought. People need something, and then they will go and purchase something. It's literally supply and demand. And it's like. If I try and sell, if you've got a banana tree in your in your garden, and I come to you and go, hey, do you want a banana? You're going to be like, what, why? I've got plenty of bananas, right? Same thing, if you're providing content that is just the same stuff, you know, that everyone else is doing, why would they be reading it? Yeah? So it's find find what is missing and find the gap that you can fill to your users. Thank you, Tim. Anybody else? All right. Um, it's, thank you for watching time again. Um, we've done it again. We've answered all of the questions asked on the uh, Dumb SEO Questions Facebook group. We'll be back uh, at the same time uh, next week. Um, 
But uh, before I go, I, I must uh, thank people like Michael Martinez and uh, Brenda Malone, Michael Stricker, um, and of course all you guys uh, for answering questions uh, um, online on a daily basis. And of course, meeting here on each Thursday night uh, um, and, and um, get reviewing the uh, uh, questions uh, or already answered. Um, it's what makes Domitio Questions such a, a valuable resource and your contribution is greatly, uh, we're, we're very, everybody is grateful. Anyway, um, we'll be back at the same time next week um, to do this uh, all again, but for now it's um, good night. Thank you very much.